Hi, my name is Olivia Romer and I'm with Plum. Today I'm going to show you how Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate handles vendor compliance. Let's get started. I can access the vendor compliance screen in two locations, the accounts payable module and the project management module. I'm going to access it through the accounts payable module. I'm going to go to accounts payable, tasks, subcontractor compliance management. In this window here, you can see various compliance items that I can keep track of. Things like lien waivers, certified payroll reports, insurance certificates, and other types of compliance documents. What I have displayed here are all of my outstanding lien waivers. Here I can see all outstanding insurance certificates and miscellaneous type items like punch lists, permits, and the like. You could keep track of virtually anything on a vendor by vendor basis, job by job. Just enter it on the miscellaneous tab. You can set up vendor compliance in the AP settings window of Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate. You can see I have the window open here. In this window, I can tell the software whether or not I want it to automatically create lien waivers, whether they be conditional or unconditional, what date I want the partial lien waivers to show as of, whether it's invoice date, posting date, payment selection date, and the like, and the lien release forms that I want the system to use. You can even customize these forms so that they are compliant with your state. I can also tell the software when I want it to warn me of items that are not in compliance. Whether I want a warning during invoice entry, during payment selection, or if I want the software to block me for payment if there are any outstanding compliance items. I can do that for all four various types of compliance, whether it be lien waivers, certified reports, insurance certificates, or those miscellaneous compliance items. Notice what happens when I'm in the AP invoice entry screen. When I enter a vendor number of a vendor that is out of compliance, a pop-up window will appear. This will state what items are out of compliance. Depending on the security settings, I can either choose to ignore that warning, get more detail, or I'm required to resolve that issue before I can proceed. Notice the payment selection window. As you can see, there are blue C's. This is visually notifying me that there are some sort of compliance issue for that vendor or these invoices. As you've seen, with the built-in functionality for vendor compliance within Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate, there's no need to keep track of information in Excel spreadsheets or other outside means. Just use the functionality already pre-built and always make sure that your vendors are in compliance. If you'd like to learn more about how Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate can help your organization, visit our website, thinkplum.com. Thank you for watching.